The Turning Point campaign accomplishes probably more than any of us can imagine. It's going to help us meet the broader needs of the community and expand our ability to help the community build itself into becoming a resilient, vibrant place. When we think about the most vulnerable among us, it's the kids and the kids who are in some stage of adoption, in the foster care system, and then also those kids who are at risk for being homeless. So it's really the mission that drove me to want to participate as a co-chair. Well, for me to get involved as co-chair, it was LaVette Russell. She gave me a call. She said, Dave, I want you to check out this organization called Chris 180. Went over here, took the tour, saw how they were changing lives and helping children. I was hooked, and from then on, I was in 100%. We're proud of all the projects we've built, and we're especially proud to be the contractor on this Chris 180 project because of its mission, because it will improve the delivery of services to kids and families in Georgia. You know, the way I look at it is when, when carving stone, a sculptor just removes everything that's not a statue, right? And that's our challenge, our opportunity, is to help remove these blocks in these kids' lives that were caused by neglect, caused by the past trauma in their lives, to reveal what's really the greatness that already exists within each one of them. I am most grateful for the ability this campaign gives us to expand our trauma-informed counseling here, in schools, and in the community, and to deepen and expand our impact through our training across the state and the region in trauma-informed care. Corporations and, and organizations investing in this, I think the key word is investing. Uh, for corporations, it's future employees, uh, future leaders in their respective organizations. And it happens to start here that they can really be able to help shape those individuals who will be contributors to their organizations in the future. As for foundations, it's also an investment. And when you think about it, it's multi-generational. One of the skills that the kids get here is to be able to learn how to handle themselves, but also to handle others as parents in the future. And so I think the return on investment is huge. Foundations and corporations, they get to see the needle move. You can actually come and touch and feel and see what's going on. You realize your investment is changing lives. And there's nothing better than knowing you're changing lives. I'm involved with the Gateway Home because I really believe keeping siblings together is, is, is critical. If you can imagine all you have is your little brother or your little sister pulled away due to no circumstance of your choosing, bringing those kids back together to create a family and a, and a safe environment is very important. I'm just grateful Chris 180 is allowing us to name it after my dad because he had such a huge heart for kids and uh, just would be so thrilled to be a part of this program. And if I could, I'd like to specifically thank Terry Russell of Stanley Martin Homes for lending their construction expertise to helping us complete this project. What I would say to supporters is thank you. And what I deem supporters are not only the corporations that are involved, the uh, organizations that make contributions from a foundational standpoint, but also to thank the staff as well. They've been tremendous to work with uh, throughout and uh, it's really been a, a fantastic experience to, to work with those individuals. So I say thank you very much. We couldn't do this without all those supporters and making this happen. You're making a difference, and the most important thing is we can't do it without you. We are eternally grateful to the campaign committee, to the leadership, to the foundation community, to the corporate community, and to the individuals who step forward to make our success possible.